Hey guys, welcome back to CBAS Tutorial Channel and this is our situation number 38 from CBAR exam November 2019 for Structural Engineering and Construction. A pink roof truss is used for a residential uh, building and loaded, loaded as shown. So number one, if P is equivalent to 85 kN, find the force in member BC neglecting H1, H2, and H3. Ayan. So, an ano lang to? Uh, statics of rigid bodies under chapter 4 ng structural analysis. So, under lang sa truss analysis, then, pwede natin gamitin kung member B siyang ang pinapahanap. Ang pwede natin gamitin is method of section. Diba? So, di tayo. Ayan. So, siguro sana na lang sa left section ng A. Pero bago yun, kailangan mo natin makuha yung reaction natin dito sa A. So, lagay natin yung reaction din dito. So, this is GB. Pero kung meron man tayong H1 and H2, H3, so, ibig sabihin may i-re-resist yung uh, GH natin. But anyway, zero naman ang ano eh. Ang tatlong to, based sa ating problem number 1, so, zero ang GH. Then, ang ating P is nakalocate sa gitna, no? So, ibig sabihin, magkahati lamang yung RA and GB natin. Under ano, ah? Problem number 1, okay? So, ang ating RA and GB is equal lang. So, 8, that is ano? Uh, 85 over 2. So, magkahati lang kasi silang dalawa. So, 42.5 kilo newton, Okay? Then, kunin natin yung section AA. Left of section AA. So, drawing natin. Yan. So, ang ating RA is 42. Oops, sorry. 42.5 kN. Then, Siguro assume natin na ang ating ano, uh, BC is compressive force. So, BC. Tapos, ito yung DC. Tapos, ito yung DF. So, this is letter A, B, and D. Three meters. So, pinakamadali dito is, ano, mag-moment tayo sa D para cancelled out ang ating DC and DF. Makuha ka natin is BC. So, kung iniisip nyo na, ano, na mahirapan tayo sa BC, hindi. Kasi pwede naman natin i-extend yung line of action ng BC hanggang dito. Ayan. Dahil ito yung vertical component ng BC, ito naman yung horizontal component ng BC. So, kailangan lang natin ma-resolve yung BC into vertical component. So, kunin natin yung kanyang slope. Ang slope niya is 1.5. Then, ito kasi is ano, no, 3. Then, 3 plus kalahati ng 3. So, 1.5, 4.5. ba So, ang ating ano, uh, vertical is 1.5. Ang horizontal is 4.5. So, ilan ang hypotenuse? 1.5 squared plus 4.5 squared. 4.743 So, 4.743 Taka lang So, ando lang kasi ano uh, Malit yung space Ayan Ilan yun? 4.743 Okay So, mag-moment tayo sa D Summation of moment at D is equivalent to 0 Clockwise is positive So, ang 4.743 42.5 be equal ng clockwise sa D multiplied by 3 meters. Then minus BC multiplied by, okay, convert natin into vertical component. Gani dito. Then multiplied by uh, ilan yun? Okay, moment arm is 3 is equivalent to 0. So, tanggalin na natin itong 3 na to. Ayan. Cancel out na lang naman yan. So, makukuha natin ang BC. So, 42.5 over 1.5 over 4.743. 1.5 over 
134.385 okay so 134.385 kilo newton so tama naman yung ating assumption kasi nagpositive yung ating ano no magnitude so ibig sabihin tama na siya ay compressive force ayan next when h1 is 11 kilo newton so 11 kilo newton Okay, H2 is 16 kilonewton, and H3 is 27 kilonewton. Find the reaction of the roller at A. Ito. If P is equivalent to 0. So, 0 naman daw ang P this time. So, uh, kung iniisip nyo na para makuha ang RA is mag sa G, mahirap yun. Bakit? Kasi kailangan nyo munang i-resolve yung ating ano, uh, 11 kilonewton, 16 kilonewton, and 27 kilonewton into vertical and horizontal. Tapos, kailangan pa natin hanapin to. Ayan, yung mga distances na yan. So, medyo matapagalan tayo dun. So, ang gawin muna siguro natin is kunin natin ng GB. Ayan, kunin natin yung GB, magmoment tayo sa A, ba? Then, i-resolve natin itong mga to into vertical components. Saka tayo mag-summation of forces vertical. Okay? So, una... Summation of moment at G is equivalent to 0. Clockwise is positive. Bakit tayo, no? Mag-moment sa A kasi itong mga forces na to ay naka-perpendicular sa ano na to, eh, member na to, no? So, kailangan na natin kunin yung distances na to. Yan. So, ilan ba to? Ang total nito is ano, diba? 4.743. So, divide natin sa dalawa. So, 2.372. Tama ba? 2.732 ba? 2.37 pala. Sorry. 2.372 meters. 2.372 meters. Ayan. Ay, G. Sorry, sorry. Hindi pala sa G. Sa A. Sa A, sorry. Ayan. So, negative GV multiplied by 333. That is 9. Then, plus yung 11, tatama naman sa A, so that is zero moment effect. Then, yung 16 multiplied by 2.372. Then, plus 27 multiplied by 4.743 is equivalent to zero. So, makukuha natin ang GV. Ayan. So, 18.446 kilo newton. Ayan. So, upper naman siya. Kasi positive yung nakuha natin. Eh. Then, resolve natin itong mga forces na to into vertical component. Ayan. Ayan. So, syempre, Meron pa rin naman yung horizontal component. So, huwag natin siyang i-disregard. Ayan. Pero kailangan na natin is yung vertical, no? So, di ba meron tayo dito ano? Slope. Ang slope natin is kaparehas lang sa BC. So, 1.5 and 4.5. So, 4.743. So, di ba uh, may tinuro na kami kasi sa, ano, sa status of rigid body. So, shortcut dito para ma-resolve agad into vertical and horizontal component. So, ang ating ano kasi, mga resultant force is perpendicular sa 4.743 meters. So, therefore, ang partner ng vertical component natin and horizontal component natin is dapat vertical sa slope. So, yung, uh, I mean, perpendicular sa slope. So, itong ano natin, vertical component is perpendicular sa 4.5. So, yun yung partner niya. Then, itong horizontal component, ang perpendicular naman sa 1.5. So, ito yung partner niya. Okay? So, makuha natin yung ano, RA by summation of force vertical is equivalent to 0. Upward is positive. Okay? So, RA is positive. Then, lahat sila downward, no? Then, ang partner ng mga vertical components is yung 4.5. So, 4.5 over 
uh, 4.743 multiplied by 11 plus 16 plus 27. Ayan. Then, plus BV, uh, GV, which is 18.446, is equivalent to 0. O, di ba? Mas madali ito. Kesa yung mag-moment agad tayo sa G, kailangan pa kasi natin kunin itong mga distances na to. So, medyo malatagalan tayo. Di ba? So, this is RA minus 4.5 over 4.743 multiplied by 11 plus 16 plus 27 plus 18 0.446 is equivalent to 0. So, 32.787. Yan. 32.787 kN. So, nag-positive naman tayo rito sa ating ano, RA. Therefore, tama yung ating assumed direction sa RA. So, upward ng RA. Next, number 3. When H1 is 11, H2 16, H3 is 7, find the vertical reaction of G if P is equivalent to 0. Ayan, nakuha na natin GP pala. Okay? Ang GP natin is equivalent to 18.446. O, diba? Nakuha na natin. Hitting, ano, two birds with one stone. Wow. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, so napakadali lang ito. Simple, ano lang siya. Trust analysis. Okay, meld of, ano, uh, section sa ating number 1 then actually yung ating number 2 and number 3 is simple ano lang uh, solving of reaction diba? napakadali lang yan magiging challenging lang to kung pipilitin ninyo mag comment sa G para lang agad makuha yung RA so medyo matagal yun okay, gagamit pa kayo ng try ko para lang makuha tong distances na to tapos magre-resolve ka rin naman ng components diba? but anyway Kung ang pinapanap naman sa number 3 is yung horizontal component sa G, madali lang din naman. Diba? Okay, so by summation of forces horizontal is equivalent to 0. To the right is positive. Ayan. Ang GH natin is negative kasi to the left. Then, i-resolve natin yung mga forces na to into horizontal. Sabi ko nga, ang partner ng mga horizontal component is perpendicular sa kanila, which is yung 1.5. Okay, so, plus... 1.5 over 4.743 then multiplied by 11 plus 16 plus 27 is equivalent to 0. So, ito yung ating horizontal uh, component sa G. 1.5 eh, sorry. Uh, yes, 1.5 over 4.743 multiplied by 11 plus 16 plus 27 is equivalent to 0. So, 17.078. So, directed to the left para i-resist yung horizontal effect ng mga forces natin. Yeah. Diba? So, simple lang siya. So, tandaan nyo lamang yun yung shortcut natin. No? So, ulitin lang natin kung ano ang relationship ng ating ano, resultant force dun sa hypotenuse. Ganon din yung magiging relationship ng ating mga components sa slope. Okay, so, ganun lang siya kasimple. Okay? So, this is our situation number 38 from CE Board Exam November 2019 for Structural Engineering and Construction. So, if you enjoyed and learned from this video, kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!